Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for, yes, I know. Where is Rodney's win-loss prediction video? And usually I take a little more time to do this, but what I've decided is this. I am going to do a preliminary win-loss record prediction right now, two weeks into OTAs, because at least we know where the teams stack up in terms of the roster. And then right before the season, I'm going to lock in an official win-loss prediction video so for right now this is the preliminary thoughts that i've had looking at the schedule reading some articles hearing about otas looking at the other teams this is my preliminary record prediction for the las vegas raiders and before we get into that i just want to give you a little history i've been predicting records for four years here's how accurate or non-accurate i've been in 2020 the covid year i said we'd go 10 and 6 we went 8 and 8 i was two games off in 2021, I said 10 and 7, and that's exactly what happened. In 2022, I said 12 and 5. Josh McDaniels, he hoodwinked me, he bamboozled me, he led me astray. We went 6 and 11. If you remember, though, 11 of those losses, 9 of them were by one possession. So, you know, it wasn't exactly a, a terrible 11 and 6, although... 11 and 6, 6 and 11, although I'm happy Josh McDaniels is no longer here. Last year, I said 9 and 8. We went eight and nine. So besides that one Josh McDaniels here that he tricked me, I've been pretty okay with getting around the ballpark of what we're gonna do. I don't like to say we're gonna win the Super Bowl every year like some people do. I don't like to say we're gonna be terrible. I like to be as accurate as I can, think level-headed, and here's my official win-loss predictions starting with week one at the Chargers. The home opener for the Los Angeles Chargers will be a home opener for the Las Vegas Raiders, and here's how I see this game going. Is Harbaugh a good coach? Yes, of course he is. He kind of stripped things down offensively a little. He's trying to build from the trenches, and I'm not going to call this a rebuild, but it's a bit of a retooling of the Chargers team. And what I foresee happening in that game is, I don't think the Chargers are going to be able to score on us. I think the second time we play them is going to be a much more competitive game than the first time we play them. I think Antonio Pierce knows that that game is going to be a game where it was between him and Jim Harbaugh to get the Raiders coaching job. We went with AP. Some people resented that choice, you know, on, on the social media or whatever. So he's like, I want to win this game. He's going to put all his eggs into this basket. And I think we're going to come out on top. We start out the season 1-0. Then we go to Baltimore. And look, that's a tough game. It's a two-time MVP, reigning MVP. Not a lot of say here you know we could be competitive we could scrap it up we've actually had decent success against Lamar Jackson recently the last time we played him we beat him I do think we're gonna fall in that game 10 a.m game body clock weird one and one and then I think we win the next four games September 22nd Carolina Panthers that's a tough one for me to see us losing unless Bryce Young takes this massive leap I don't think they're going to be particularly good. That gets us to 2-1. and one. That's our home opener. Then week four, I don't think the Browns are that good. Their defense is okay. I think Deshaun Watson sucks. I think we're going to get after him a bunch. That gets us to 3-1 and one. at Denver. I already said we're sweeping them. Don't need to say anything about the Denver games. 4-1. and one. And then to get to 5-1 and one against the Steelers, I think that's going to be a tough game to win. However, again, I think our defense is going to be so, so good that I do not see teams with question marks offensive weapon wise being able to score on us. And I think our offense has better weapons than their offense. So if our defenses are the same and my offense is better than your offense, how do we lose that game? Five and one. Here's the stretch maybe where we come back down to earth because we got at the Rams versus the Chiefs at the Bengals. I think that's three straight losses. We go from five and one to five and four in the season. The Rams are a tough, tough squad. Sean McVay coaching his butt off. I think he wants to make the playoffs very, very badly again. They shocked the world kind of by making the playoffs last year. People thought they were done. Now Matthew Stafford, instead of retiring, is looking for a new contract extension. I think we lose that game. I think we lose to the Chiefs the first time we play them just because they're going to be ready for the kind of defense that we have. I think they were kind of surprised at how well we played them Christmas Day, and I think they're going to throw everything at us to beat us. That's going to be like a mini Super Bowl for them and i think they're going to do their best to shut us up then we go to cincinnati look i think we could be competitive in all these games and maybe if we flip one we go from five and four to six and three which, which looks a lot better i just think that's a tough little stretch you kind of have to just survive the night there weather the storm the Bengals are a good team they scrap things up they muddy the waters joe burrow is better than our quarterback whoever it's going to be i think we go to five and four 
Then we reach our bye week and we go Dolphins. That's going to be a game that's going to flash us back to the last time we played the Dolphins where we lost 20 to 13. If we could hold Tyreek in check and if we could force Tua to turn the ball over like we did the last time we played them, our offense is going to be better than it was last year. I see that coming off a bye as a W to get to 6-4. and four. Broncos, W, 7-4. and four. At Kansas City, I have this as another loss. I have the Chiefs sweeping us. I just think a part of us beating them last year was that they didn't think we were as good as we were. I think they're going to be prepared for us this year. I do think both games are going to be close. And we're going to be right in the mix with them both times. It might just come down to Patrick Holmes is a better quarterback than what we have at the moment. So I think we fall. It's 7-5 and five right now. Go to Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay doesn't scare me. I, again, I think this is a game where our defense is going to really give Baker Mayfield a lot of trouble. And we go to 8-5. and five. Falcons, I think they're going to be pretty good. That could be a sneaky little trap game. I think that's a game where we fall. I don't think we're going to sweep the NFC South, unfortunately. I think we fall to Kirk Cousins, Drake London, B. John Robinson. They got some guys there. And we go to 8-6. and six. And then the last three games, Jaguars, Saints, and Chargers. I think all three of those games are going to be close. And I think all three of those games are going to be Raider W's. Jacksonville. Trevor Lawrence might not have been as good as we initially thought. He's still decent, but they've got some new weapons now. Gabe Davis. Will they mesh by the time we play them? That's a home game for us. They got to travel a long ways away. I think we get that win. Derek Carr. Will he be playing in this game? I believe so. That might be a game for both of us to get into the playoffs, to fight our way in. I think we're going to get the last laugh against Derek and Dennis Allen because, again, we know if we can disrupt him in the pocket, he kind of crumbles every now and again. So I think that's a dub for us. And I think week 18 against the Chargers is a dub. We sweep the Chargers, and my preliminary record prediction is 11-6. and six. That is just by me looking at the schedule, not doing a ton of research, just gut reaction right off the rip. That is not my locked-in official playoff rankings or official standings predictions. I don't know if that's where I'm going to land when the season starts. Maybe I add a win. Maybe I take a couple off. But for right now, that should show you this. I believe the Raiders have a good enough roster to make significant noise this season and to get into the playoffs. And a lot of my predictions were based around the defense. If our defense is that much better than your defense, all our offense has to do is be consistent. We don't have to put up 30 a game to win like we did maybe when Derek was here the last few years. All we have to do is weather the storm offensively and our defense could take us to the promised land. Right now, I have us winning 11 games. Like I said, that probably will change right before we get to the regular season. I'll probably make my final win-loss prediction and playoff prediction videos right before the season starts. Comment below. Let me know your thoughts on my predictions. What are your predictions? Go game by game in the comments. Run those comments and likes up. It helps this video circulate and get to other people. We just passed 6,000 subscribers. Thank you so, so much for that. Let's get to 7. Let's get to 8. Let's get to 9. Let's get to 10, man. Check out the Patreon. Patreon.com slash Raiders. You get exclusive access to to the Discord, where you can talk to me about your predictions. We can get you ad-free content, exclusive content, name at the end of the credits, the whole nine yards. Please be sure to subscribe, but it's free after I'm no charge to you. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.